Welcome to SAT 0 to 1. In this lesson, we're learning about the equation of circles. A circle is a round plane figure whose boundary consists of points equidistant from the center. And the radius is the straight line from the center to a point on the circumference. Let's call this arbitrary point P. Notice we can form a triangle with R as the hypotenuse and X as the base and the value of Y as the height. And the radius can now be found using the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And that is the basic form of the equation of a circle. Suppose we have a unit circle, which is a circle with radius of 1. And we can check if the points on the circle satisfy our equation. Take the point 1, 0 as an example. 1 squared plus 0 squared equals 1 and the relationship holds. Let's try a more complicated example, the point 1 over 2 and root 3 over 2. Substituting this point into our equation for the circle, we can see that the relationship still holds. So basically, the equation of a circle is just restating the definition that any point on the circle is equidistant to the center and the distance is called the radius. OK, but what if the circle is not centered around the origin? For example, what if we have a circle centered around the point A, B? Well, the radius of this circle can still be computed using the Pythagorean theorem. This time, the horizontal distance is equal to x minus a, and the vertical distance is now y minus b. So x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared is the equation of a circle that is not centered around the origin, where a comma b is the center and r is the radius. Remember that formula, and let's try a practice problem. The center of a circle is at 3 comma 5, and the diameter of the circle is 8. What is the equation of that circle? Well, let's bring out the formula first x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. And we know that the center is at 3 comma 5, and thus a must be 3 and b must be 5. We don't have any information about the radius yet, but what we do have is the diameter. By definition, we know that the diameter is twice the radius, thus radius must be diameter divided by 2, a divided by 2, which is 4. So now our equation is completed. x minus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 4 squared. And 4 squared can be written as 16. So the answer is d. OK, let's try one more practice question. The point 4, 5 less than our circle with the center 1, 1. Which of the following is the equation of the circle? Again, let's bring out the equation first x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. Let's fill in a and b for 1 and 1. And we're missing the radius. OK, let's just make a sketch of this circle and see what happens. OK, centered around 1 comma 1 with the unknown radius. And we have a point 4, 5 on the circle. Okay. After sketching this graph, we can see that if we connect the center to the given point, we would be able to find the radius using the Pythagorean theorem. The horizontal distance is 4 minus 1, which is 3, and the vertical distance is 5 minus 1, which is 4. And thus the hypotenuse must be 5 because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And so the radius is 5, and we can keep r squared as it is, and let's put it back into our equation of the circle. So the equation is now x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25. And the correct answer is b. One last practice to go. A circle is given by the equation x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 9. This circle is shifted up two units and right three units. And then the radius of the circle is doubled. What is the new equation of the circle? Like always, 
we bring out the equation first. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. And we can find the center of the circle to be 1 and negative 3 because plus 3 is essentially minus negative 3. And the radius is 3 because 3 squared equals 9. Now I'm going to make a sketch to help me visualize what is going on. A circle centered around 1, negative 3. Okay, that's the center. And radius is 3. Okay, that's our circle. Okay. And let's focus on the center for now. We first need to move the circle two units up. One and two. So the new center is at one comma negative one. And then three units to the right. One, two, and three. And the center is now at four comma negative one. And then we want to double the radius. So the radius becomes six. And that's our new circle. The equation becomes x minus 4 squared plus 1 plus 1 squared equals 36. And that's option C. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.